shine. Z3. A door. Replicas. Replicas. Replicating. Replicas. 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 Real. Spider-Man's here. Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to The Wrong Car. As you can see ahead, we're at a kit car show and there's Cobras everywhere and I'm in the Nissan because of the fuel crisis and a few other things. So I need to pick up some new J's for my Cobra, XCS Designs, and we're at the Newark kit car show. So that's where we are as well. Are there public parking? Public parking, you want to go across here and follow that black cow. Lovely, mate. thank you. I was here for vegan camp out. Oh yeah, Chloe likes grass in her mouth. Lovely. Such a shame, but needs mast hand. Better MPG by double. And once again, here is my stunning Lord Time Piece, who have sponsored this video, giving you 10% off by using Adam C at LordTimePieces.com. So, it's a bit windy, there's a bouncy slide, and a mini with no roof or doors. Let's start inside, let's get my UJs for the Cobra. My steering's got a little bit of play in it, I found out. It's almost fixed after Le Mans. There's a beach buggy, road eagle beach buggy coming in. Well, it's not strictly a beach buggy, really. It's more like a little stock car racer. It's based on a beetle, I can tell. Oh, this is what I like. The metal wall signs, there's Cobra stuff everywhere. I like the Goodyear sign. One pin, just the one. I found my table. Oh, there's also my section over there, just, just beyond my section over here. This looks like the flipper from Robot Wars. Ah, so on the XES display, they do have a Cobra with a full competition roll cage. But I've got my new parts, I'm gonna put them back in the car and then have a look around. And S14's just turned up. Oh, so if he can go into the show, then maybe I could have gone into the show. Because that's not a replica, that's not a kit car. It's a Koki, yeah, Koki S14 at the kit car show. Bit of a gate crash. So, straight away, I'm going to have a look at this S14 and work out why it is here. It's right in the middle of the showground, exclusive JDM. That is a genuine S14, it's not a replica, but it is here at the kit car show, gate crashing. It's pretty clean though, it's got the carbon fibre bonnet, vents that vent, it's actually immaculate inside as well. Little spoiler on the back. There's also a Ferrari F430 replica in front, and a 7 base car with an alien on board and a spoiler on the back. So this F430 replica owned by Lee is a Toyota MR2 like most of them tend to be. But inside it's got some Daytona styled seats, and a Ferrari styled steering wheel and a central column as well. It's a pretty decent looking one to be fair, and we've now got a lifted Mini. I think this one's on a Suzuki chassis, like a Jimny or, or something similar. What's a bizarre sight? <laughs> it's no longer a Mini, it's a, a Tolly. A Tolly Cooper. And Lee is now on the move, so you can hear the MR2 engine. So it's got a Ferrari engine cover. Let's have a look at the Cobras. They look like mostly Daxes and AKs from what I can tell. So most of these have Jaguar components underneath and then have either Ford or Chevy engines. So that one looks like it's got some kind of LS underneath. An LS3 with 541 horsepower. The difference between a boy and a man is the size of his toy cupboard. So a highly appropriate sticker for a lot of these guys. A lot of Cobras in a line. This is my dream right here. That one's very similar to mine. Looks Imperial Blue as well. Got the Gardner Douglas again with an LS. Some of these builds though are just just incredible the amount of shine I mean it puts mine to shame in a way because I use mine a little bit too much to keep it in as immaculate condition as a lot of these and this one's got something I could have done with at Le Mans a luggage rack on the boots so I didn't overfill my boots and that didn't cut off the isolator and I wouldn't have broken down and I was getting a little bit excited because just beyond the Cobras is a 991 GT3 RS and they do make replicas of these cars and they look pretty decent but this one is a genuine GT3 RS but some of the replicas are based on boxsters and they're some of the most impressive builds. Hopefully there's a few more we can see later. And we return to this lineup with that convertible mini. Well I say convertible, it doesn't convert, it's a permanent open top. And we have this BMW Z3, the most affordable Cobra replica that you can build. You pretty much take the Z3 panels off and put the Cobra panels on. So it's still got the BMW Z3 interior and steering wheel, so a bit of evidence of what it is. And here we have a Nova with an even more unique way to get in the car. I suppose you could call that a door. They're based on Beetle internals and it's probably one of the most bizarre looking kit cars of the show. And we now come to the Ferrari replica section starting off with this gorgeous Ferrari 250 California. Again based on a BMW Z3. Then we have the Ferrari 550 LM that we saw at the previous kit car show. We have a Ferrari 355 in yellow just down from a Ferrari 250 short 
short wheelbase. Remember, these are all replicas. They're not genuine Ferraris. I believe this one is another Z3. And then on the end, I get underneath this rope, we have this, which is replicating a Ferrari Dino. So the interior looks pretty good. We've got a V6 at the back. Is that an Alpha V6? Someone can let me know in the comments. I, I recognise it, but I can't place what it is. And then at the back, we have the Ferrari F40 replica, which is still for sale based on a Pontiac Fiero. I think I see this F40 replica more often than I see genuine F40s it shows. It's been around quite a lot in the last few years. And opposite the Ferrari replicas, we have a lineup of Genettas. And further on, we have this Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider. Pretty awesome and pretty real. This is a genuine Lamborghini. It's not a replica, although it would be impressive if it was. I'm just popping down beyond the Lotus Elan, which is a genuine Elan, because we have a pair of Porsche 911 replicas. Pretty good, if you ask me. We've got the 964 over there, both based on Volkswagen Beetles, of course. The Coven Owners Club. We've got Bufords lined up next door. And as that buggy drives by again, is he going home already? We have a Ferrari 458, but this is a genuine 458 Spider. So I reckon he's just having a bit of fun with people, making people think that it's a replica and a really good one, but this is a genuine Ferrari 458. I mean, you can kind of tell because he's got towels protecting the seats, which you wouldn't do in a replica. Although there is an arrow telling you how to turn the car on, but this was parked next door to a Ferrari 250 GTO replica that has since left. So it almost looks even more like a replica. I was hoping to come over here and look at it because it looked really good and that's because it's a real car. And I found the biggest fan of the show today. Look how happy he is. But next we have the Jago Jeeps. So these are Jeep replicas, obviously, as you can tell. But there's another section with a few interesting sights. In fact, the MR2 base 430 has repositioned itself. So here once again is the F430 replica, part next to a very early TVR. This is a TVR 3000S, next to a Bertini GT25, another car based on the BMW Z3. And whilst earlier we had the genuine GT3 RS, this one, as I mentioned, is a Porsche Boxster. How good does that look? It's one of the better kits that I have seen. So it's still got the Boxster seats and it's crazy that they use Boxsters rather than Caymans because it's got a hard roof but I suppose the Cayman roof line wouldn't work. It's a big build this turning a Boxster into a GT3 RS, one that looks this impressive. Most people wouldn't know whatsoever and one added bonus of it is it's manual. But they moulded this whole body off a genuine 991 GT3 RS and the Boxster platform is only about an inch different so you shorten it a little bit, plonk it on Bob's your uncle, or Tony's your uncle, if your uncle's name's Tony. Another MR2, replicating a 430 Spider. And opposite, we have a lineup of Tigers with this Enigma in the middle. It's based on a Mark III Mazda MX-5. It's got BMW Mini headlights and Nissan Micra rear lights. And at the back of the show, we've got another car that looks a lot like the Nova from earlier. I believe it is based on a Beetle as well, but the door's door normally, so it hasn't got the full clam or the full roof that opens from the car, but similar in style with martini stripes. And talking of beetle based cars, we've got a lineup of proper beach buggies, including one that seems to resemble a Porsche 550 Spider. So it's got the clearance of a beach buggy based on a beetle, but almost the look of the classic Porsche. I mean, the roll cage is not quite as big as a lot of the other buggies, but I think that's my favourite of the lot. And further on, this beach buggy has got a psychedelic colour scheme and five seats. Further down, there's a 2CV pickup with a trailer to match. So whilst it would make more sense for a kit car to be the imposter at a supercar show, we've had the Ferrari being the imposter at the kit car show and the S14. I mean, let me know in the comments which one you think is the biggest imposter. The 458 is now leaving, so we can probably hear it. And it's flat plane V8 as opposed to an MR2 engine. Well, I couldn't hear it at all. Um, I promise it is real. Has his roof accidentally come undone and opened? Oh, what's this? Ah, Lancia Stratos replica. Didn't notice that. Martini livery. Ah, he had to open his roof to speak to the marshals. That's why he popped it open. Because I presume he's got the side windows in. We now have a pair of Sonic 7s leaving the show. They've had to wear full face helmets because their windscreens aren't quite tall enough to do their job. Oh, look, Spider Man's here. Do you reckon he's a fan of the Cobras? Now I think he's more of a Catrum fan, especially with footwear like that. Well, lack of. He can actually fit in the pedal box. And here comes another one of the imposters. S14 rolling past all of the Cobras from the day. 
promise that is genuine. Oh look, yes, another car, a bit like the Nova, with another dooring solution. It's got gold wing doors. Is dooring a word? I don't think it's a word. Take a look at the velour plum seating. That is luxurious. Well, it's powered by a Lancia engine, this. But from the Newark kit car show, that was pretty much that. A lot of the cars are leaving now and we're going to head off too. So I hope you enjoyed that video. A lot of real supercars gate crashing the fake supercar show. So that was a bit different. So go follow me on all my social channels for the updates, highlights and photos of what I take at these meets. But for now, thanks for watching.